Hey there and welcome back to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw underswap sands. So I'm going to be drawing this character in the same position as Papyrus. So we're going to draw a three quarter position facing towards the left with one arm down and one arm on the hip. So let's start with the eyes with the bottom of the eyelid. So from the left side I'm going to draw a curve from left to right. I'm going to leave a little gap in the center here. I'm going to draw the one on the right. So same curve across. Now let's draw the tops of the eyes. So we're going to just draw a half circle connecting the outside and the inside of that line on both sides. Now let's draw in the iris and pupil. So on the left eye, we're just going to draw it on the inside just a little. So that's at the bottom edge, draw a circle, and then we'll draw a circle dot in the center for the pupil. And on the right side, we're just going to move it over just a little bit so it doesn't look too cross-eyed. And we'll draw that pupil in the center. Let's go ahead and color the outside area in black. We'll do the same thing on the right side. For those that are joining us for the first time, we're using a Sharpie fine point marker. And we use these for all our lessons and we can get these at pretty much any stationery store. Okay, so now that we've got the eyes, let's go in towards the nose. So in the center, in between the eyes, we're going to draw sort of an upside down V with curved sides. So curving up on the left, curving down on the right, and then we're going to curve in towards the center, but we're just going to drop this down a little bit. So it gets a little bit thicker in the middle. We'll color the inside in black. Let's give him a big smile. So on either side, we're going to draw a curve. So from a point underneath the eye on the left to a point underneath the right, let's draw a curve going across like this. And we're going to draw some reverse brackets. So on the left side here, I'm just going to curve out. Do the same thing on the right, and we're going to connect those two points again for the bottom of the mouth. So we're just going to come down a little bit lower towards the bottom of the mouth, curve back up, and then along here we're just going to draw some teeth. So we're starting on the left side, draw some vertical lines going across, and then the side on the left, we're just going to color this area in black, just to show that the face is sort of angled out. From the sides of the eyes, we're going to draw in the bottom of the face. So on the left side here, we're going to step over, draw a point. On the right side, we're going to move over just a little bit more and draw a point. Because the head's turned, you see less of this side on the left. So we're going to take this point, curve underneath the mouth and up towards the right side. So we're just going to give it a little bit of cheek structure coming underneath and curve up to that point on the right. From here, we're going to go outwards again, drawing the top of the skull. We're going to come up and then back down on the right side. So just drawing a head up to about here, curving up around, and then down on the right side. From here, let's give them some little expressions. So we're going to draw some eyebrows. So just above the left eye, I'm just going to draw a curve going up like that. Now on the right side, we're going to go up a little higher and draw a reverse curve coming down. From this point, I'd like to draw in the scarf. So we're going to draw it coming down in front of the face here, in top of the body. So on the left side, I'm going to just draw a curve like this for the wrinkle. We step in just a little bit and draw a curve coming down to the point of the scarf. Let's go over to the right side and do the same thing. So from right about here, a curve going across like that. Now I'm going to move up a little bit. Because that body's turned a little bit, we're going to see a little bit more of the scarf on this side. So what I want to do is I'm going to curve in and then just pull it down. Let's just close that gap off there. Up here on the side of the head, we're going to draw the knot. So from here, we're going to draw like a little circle or a curve. And then we're going to draw in the knot, the little end. So from here, I'm going to draw a curve like this. Around this, I just want to draw a curve going around. And then on the other side as well. We're going to draw one more coming down this way. So I'm just going to start with that center. And then just curve around that on both sides. Now let's get into the body. So again, the body's turned this way. So you can see the profile of the body on this side overlapping the arm on the left but the right arm overlaps on top of the body. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the profile of the body just to figure out the length of the body first. So right about here is where I want the hips. So on the side here of the scarf, I'm going to curve down the profile of the body. On this side, I want to start with the upper part of the shoulder and the arm. So at the same height, I'll draw the sleeve coming across, 
and pull that in like that. From here, I just want to pull this up, but I'm not going to connect it to the scarf. I just want to draw a little curve like that, just to show the inside of the arm. Along here, I'm just going to draw a little curve for the band of the arm. Now the body comes across this way and back up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start on the side of this arm here and curve down towards the hips. Same height as I have on the left. Connect those two points with a curve for the bottom of the shirt. Now from here I can go onto the left side and just layer in the arm behind. So I'm going to take this curve and draw the opposite on this side. So because the arm is on the hip, we're going to draw the shoulder going out towards the elbow, towards the wrist. So we're going to raise the arm a little bit here. So curving out, and we're going to curve the bottom of the shirt sleeve. I'll draw that little trim. Now from here I'm going to draw the upper arm going towards the elbow. So I'm going to locate the elbow right here. So I'm going to draw the bone arm. So from here I'm going to step down a little bit from the top of the shirt. I'm going to curve around and then pull that back in like that. Okay, so this is sort of the joint here. From this point I want to draw the top edge of the glove. So the arm is coming down in this direction. So I'm just going to draw a curve like that. From here I'm going to take this point and just curve in towards the side of the body. Now the bottom part of the glove, we're going to go in a little bit tight, so we're just going to taper in like this. Now we're going to step in, draw a little wrinkle like that, and we're going to draw one more wrinkle for the finger. And then we're going to step right here towards that wrinkle and just curve all the way around in towards the side of the body. From here I just wanted to show the top uh, joint of the uh, forearm. So from right here, so we curve in towards the glove and we just close it off on the inside as well. On this side, I'm going to have the arm sticking out straight with the wrist sort of cocked back like that. So let's start with the upper arm first. So this is going to come across this way. So drawing that joint, so the little bulbous point there comes in like that, sort of like we did on the left side. From here, I want to draw in the cuff of the sleeve of the, of the glove. So right here, I'm going to draw a curve like this because the arm is going to get stuffed inside the glove. Right here on the side, I'm going to curve the upper part of the forearm and on the right side as well. And we want to show a little bit of that split because there's two sort of bones that come out from the forearm. So we come up like that, and then halfway through, we're just going to draw a little curve in the opposite direction. Let's draw the back side of the glove. So up here, we're going to curve back behind that curve. Now we're going to go in towards the wrist. So from here, I'm just going to curve in. From here, I'm going to curve in so it goes a little bit tighter towards the wrist. Now, because the hand's like this, we're going to have to draw in that thumb first. So from here, just draw a very simple thumb, just a curve like that. From here I'm going to draw the three fingers going upwards, so curving up this way. So from about halfway along this thumb, curve up, and pull that back. We do an overlap, so right here, we'll draw one more finger here, and then one more right behind it, and we'll just tuck this in behind that line there. From here, let's get into the legs. So we're going to draw the legs coming down this way, but we want to counterbalance it, so his body's kind of shifted this way, the legs will have to shift in the opposite direction just to make sure he's balanced. So right in the middle here, I'm going to draw the lower torso line. So right here, let's draw a curve like that. Let's draw the pants. So from this corner of the hip, I'm going to curve around and right up into there. We're going to overlap the front leg, the right leg here on top. Curving on top and curving this right back towards the hip. Right in the center here, we're just going to draw the little slit for the, the fly. And now for the legs. So this leg I'm going to draw an angle going down this way. So we're going to start with the heel side first. So from the center here, I'm going to curve down towards the heel. I'm going to draw the span of the bottom of the foot. So going across the bottom with a curve. From here I'm going to draw the curve for the top of the boot. So curving across like this. And then up here we want to make the pant look like it's stuffed inside the boot. So we're going to step in just a little bit here and just curve right on top of that boot. We'll draw a little sole here as well. Just draw a trim across. Now we take that foot and draw the opposite on this side. So right here, I'm going to draw a straight line going towards the heel. We're going to draw the span, the bottom of the foot. Now we're going to draw the top of the boot here. So curving across, up, and then down. And up here, we're going to connect it just like we did here, just kind of tapering in towards the ankle, just like that. We'll draw in the sole. Like so the final thing we're just gonna give him a little cape. So I'm gonna imagine the cape coming down this way. So starting right here, go behind the glove, continue on. I'm just gonna pull it across towards the right. Now the bottom, I'm just gonna curve up and behind the leg. 
We're gonna reverse this curve, so it looks like it's sort of waving, so it's kind of curving across like this. We'll curve out towards the left, and from here I'm just gonna tuck this in behind the glove and the body on the left side, and that's pretty much it. There we have it, there's underswap sands. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.